Hello, my name is Shuttle here, and welcome back for another episode of uh, Scandinavian Superpower in Victoria 2. And in previous episode, uh, Prussia got cut down in size again a little bit. And Russia is still growing and growing, I think. Is Russia the number one great power now? No. Well, they got the strongest military, but definitely not the strongest industry. Actually, how strong is the Russian industry? It's uh, seventh largest. And we got the 11th, so there's not actually that massive difference in that regard. But their military is just so strong. But yeah, we're currently building up some fleets, just so that if we need to fight the Prussian fleet, we can beat them. And, well, I mean, we're kind of trying to find a way, or find a nice... Oh, Edward Munch. Oh, good. More prestige. So we've still got that one small arms factory closed, but that's fine. Don't suppose there's a lot of na oh, um, nations that I could ally right now. Let's see, Netherlands. They will not accept the cause. Too many alliances, base of reluctance. Well, I'm going to start increasing relations with the Netherlands again. Netherlands is now a secondary power. We'll still probably want to, you know, do something with them. I'm going to move this army down south again. Now, I would like to fight Denmark, but fighting UK is uh, suicide, to be fair. If we have a look at the amount of fleets... Oh, forward. More socialists, or... Hmm, we we'll get a little bit more socialists. There got only ten ships, what?! That can't be true. Well, are they still... No, I suppose they may have lost some naval battles somewhere. But 10 ships? Oh, what, 15 ships? Or 10 ships? Hold on a minute. Yeah, 10 ships. Sure enough, they got a lot of brigades. Oh, synthetic dye. Excellent. Are we getting uh, dye factories or anything like that yet? No, not by the looks of it. We you get the luxury furniture factory in Stockholm again. Not entirely sure if that's a smart idea. Although, one thing that is a smart idea is uh, upgrading some naval bases. Sure enough, it's going to cost like crazy. But once we have those underway... I believe we will, because most of that is just domestic production that we are using. It means a bit less money from uh, trading. Oh, UK and Denmark are allied now. Hmm... So that the Prussian fleet is also expanding a little bit. Actually, I think it's expanding a lot right now. It's already 12 ships. Hold on. Um, oh, right, it's down here. And another commerce raider there. Oh, Bremen goes bankrupt. Man, a lot of nations are going bankrupt right now. More prestige. We're going to get the revolution, counter-revolution, rather soon. It's already 1895. To be fair, we still have uh, about 40 years in the game. Out of the 100, so it's not too bad, but we do need to kind of start making some moves to become bigger if we want to actually achieve that. Now, I can't declare wars on the German sphere while I'm in the sphere myself, so we kind of need to get out of the sphere soon. Expressionism could allow us to get that. Social science would allow us to get, okay, some more consciousness. Still nothing in there. I suppose I could get the factory input efficiency and output efficiency over there. Or the factory cost reduced. Or just some more of the naval stuff. Although these, well, they give organization. I'm not entirely sure if that's so much required. Some. Gonna go with the management strategy right now. So again, increase the navies a little bit. Now, uh, how long until these... Alborg currently being expanded to level 2, that's still gonna take a while. We can probably go on speed 4 for the time being, because there's not really that much going on right now, is there? I might... Keep on increasing... Oh! Hmm. Dutch flag has changed a little bit. Hmm. 
surprised they'll like me. Are they willing to? No, they do not want to form an alliance with me. Too many alliances. And I have an ally. Oh, are you allied to... Oh, you are allied to Austria, okay. Yeah, I can't do much about that. So actually, it looks like... Is that in the ledger, I wonder? National rankings... Ships. I'm actually fairly high in the ships list here. The French have a bit larger fleet than I have. Is that... Hold on, that's... Okay, yeah, the French had 23 ships. Because I got... 18. So there's five more ships than I do. Then there's some South American nations. Ottomans have a fair bit larger. Brazil, Russia has quite large. Austria has large. Japan and USA. But like, in terms of European powers... Um... There's Austria, Russia, Ottomans, France, and then it's me. Then it's Spain after me. And are we... We're not making more ships right now, are we? Maybe we should get another two... Uh, commerce Raiders. We can get one in... Oh, we can actually build them in Alberg directly. And then I'll get another one in Drummond. Because that's just... Across to Gut to Gut. Oh, Susan Guard. Okay, is that... How terrible of a unit is that? Or is that something... No, that's actually not something that's in here that we can recruit. But it might be something that can... happen from time to time or something, I don't know. UK discredited Russia and Denmark, okay. And Prussia. They really want Denmark. Communist rebel organization gain, oh no. So how bad is the communist... Ooh. They're getting already quite strong. Upper house rearranged. Looks like the socialists are getting more ground. Maybe build time, factory throughput tech, excellent. So we currently get 170 points from industrial power. Still not great, but we're back to 11th uh, slot in the great house list. Or in its total score. Right, uh, Netherlands. I think we still need to increase relations with you. Although, I don't think that's going to have enough of a uh, impact, to be fair. Who are you allied to? The Ottomans. Oh, that's a bit of a surprise. And Belgium is in the sphere with France. France is the number one great power. I'd like to get them... Allied, but I don't think that's going to be an option. Go to Clipper Shipyard again. Let's have a look at the production, just out of curiosity. Uh, are we actually producing any yet? No, not yet. Probably because we don't have any fabrics. And for fabrics, we need dye, and for dye, we need. Oh, it just needs coal. Now, I do wonder actually about the coal. Is there a massive amount of um, supply? It is in high demand. Um, I know that we can see it somehow. Okay, the demand is slightly higher than supply, but it's not that massive difference. So I think we can kind of trust to get the stuff that we need in that regard. What did we get now? Uh, furniture factory upgraded and winery probably upgraded as well. Alright then. Netherlands. Increase relations. I don't think Netherlands is going to be particularly useful necessarily against the... Oh, look at distillery in Stockholm, regular clothes factory. We're going to get the management strategy. There we go. Now, is there anything else that we need? I suppose we could get the social science or expressionism or extra prestige. Or some naval stuff, I suppose. Is there anything over here directly? I mean, the supply range is quite nice. The old risk... To your training, so that's just more organization. Oh, there's the last one does give uh, naval uh, attrition reduced. Cruisers, battleships, and dreadnoughts get some more hull in that one. Still nothing in the army that we can research. We might go for the economic responsibility, quite frankly. Or is that there's nothing in the industry that we can do? I'll we'll take that one. We get a little bit of a boost for the research speed there, anyway. Which we do not get in the 
culture stuff. Well, on the other hand, we don't get a penalty there either, so it's not too bad. Oh, Union faster build of ships, good. That's actually really good. Glass factory in Lübeck. That's actually also quite nice to have. Although I'm not entirely sure how much there's going to be actual, you know, extra workers, but I'm sure that we'll have a little bit. Still production output. Ooh, that's good. And yeah, we're making about half a thousand pounds per day. Ooh, we're going to get some reforms. So unemployment subsidies is the highest support, but from population, there's actually not that massive demand for it, and the movement isn't particularly militant yet, so we might actually want to just wait with that one a little bit, because it is going to take... Oh, Serbia goes bankrupt. It's going to cost a little bit more in any case. Uh, where do we get... Right, so the ship in Alborg is still underway, taking a while. Oh! Apparently we had a revolt in Alborg. Wait, was that the... Oh, it was the bloody regiment from there. Oh! Luxembourg wants to ally me. Mm, okay. That's probably a mistake. Although, oh, right, I'm the only ally that they have. Well. We've got some artillery factories probably upgraded. I did still want to increase relations with Netherlands as well. But they got a lot of truces going on right now. Oh, right, there were with, uh, Ottomans in the war, I reckon. Now, the population growth has uh, sped up quite a bit. We already have 7.8 million population, which is quite decent. Now, it's not quite modern-day Sweden stuff, but on the other hand, we do have quite a bit more than just modern-day Sweden, you know. Okay, so we've got some of the commerce raiders now, so we've got 5, 5, and 5. The Prussian fleet is increasing in numbers again. Ammunition factory, explosives. Oh, right, but those don't actually give us the... Oh, our military power has dropped again. From soldiers and army. Why is that? Hmm. Okay, well, can we get a new army in somewhere in Denmark? We can get a Danish infantry in Arthurs. Sure, we'll get one in there. Wait, it was uh, infantry that we needed, right? Yes. Good. That should be fine. Leave the campaign. Lose consciousness? More reactionary? Or more liberal? I'm going to go with more reactionary this time. Just a little bit. So we're not actually expanding any factories right now. Hmm. Okay, well... We got 20 ships total. Prussians have 16 ships. Diplomatic influence increases because of that. Is there, well, there's the naval stuff or culture stuff. I don't think I'm going to go with the more prestige. So, expressionism, it is. Then we, maybe we will get the social science. And then by that time, I hope that we've unlocked some more options. Because we're doing really good in terms of research right now. Still got quite a bit of extra um, clergymen, so we could technically lower the education funding down to 50%. I think that's going to be fine. And what about the clerks? We still need quite a bit more. I think we'll be mostly alright. So, about the reforms. Um, unemployment subsidies, so get, okay, they're getting a lot of support now. Let's have a look at the 11% of the population support that. Okay. You know what, I, I will put that one on then. It's probably going to cost us a fair bit, but at the same time we got £300,000. I don't think we are lacking in terms of cash right now. We can actually start increasing our... Oh, more prestige. Because we've been recruiting a lot more troops now, so we could maybe get a th another army in. Because that might actually be quite helpful. Again, I'm not entirely sure why we're basically getting no... Army points. That's a bit... Confusing. It's not because we have a lack of officers, is it? We're paying officers a fair bit, so I don't think that's the case. 
And Hot Girls bankrupt? Okay, so that's a lot of German nations that have went bankrupt recently. Which is certainly a bit concerning. More prestige. Good. Russian discredit Italy increase. Okay, well, uh, how bad is the Russian army, right? No, Prussian army. They got 80 brigades. I got 30. I can get you 40, so I could technically get you half of what they have, but it's not going to be enough. Also, I can hear my neighbors hammering something. I'm not entirely sure if the microphone is picking up too much, but probably a little bit. So, apologies for that. Right, um... Anarchy bomb throws can happen, and then factory input efficiency tech. So we need to put in a bit less to get the stuff in. Is Denmark in a war? No, they've got a lot of allies, though. Well, they've got Holstein, Hanover, and UK. I can't declare war on Holstein because they are in the Danish sphere. Okay, well, let's start building another army. Um, we'll start with Bergen, Biski, uh, and Lillehammer. Have learned since all. Start with the infantry first. Gather them up into your army. And expressionism has been researched. So I guess we haven't unlocked anything else yet. When do we get the next rails? Next year. Okay. Suppose we get some of the naval stuff in the meanwhile. I mean, this would be okay for the attack increase again. And bigger max uh, naval base, but we still haven't completed the naval bases that we're currently working on. So I'm just going to get the social sciences out of the way. And we got 99.9% .9 literacy rate. Honestly, not bad. But I'm guessing that's uh, from the adult male population, not just all population. Because that wouldn't really make sense that every kid can read immediately after they're born or something like that. So we still have the option to leave oh, forward. Um, more socialists. I'm going to go with the 20% of everyone. Right. Um, factory cost goes down. Excellent. Uh, okay, so Netherlands really doesn't want to ally me. They are a communist nation though, so that might have something to do with it. And the naval bases are slowly being completed. I think we're going to start upgrading the... Oh, oh right, the anarchic bomb throws are actually a thing for over here in the nation. Or the province level. Oh, I see. Well, now we know. Right, well, let's gather these in... Jezebro, maybe. Uh, we've still got two more that are underway, I believe. Yeah, we do. Mobilization impact minus 20%. So, technically speaking, if we were to mobilize, we can get another 40 regiments, but uh, now we've got one regiment somewhere. There you are, since well. I'm going to move in the fleet over there so I can transport them over to Lube, maybe. Start gathering up the army there. So, we still got the small arms factory closed, but I don't think I'm going to be opening that anytime soon. I don't think there's enough demand for it right now. There's not major wars ongoing or anything like that. Upper House rearranged. The Conservatives lost a lot of power in the Upper House now. Interesting. Very interesting. So we could just about get the five extra regiments for that army. So we need to get some sort of um, a pretty good maneuver. Good reconnaissance. Crusaders don't have any reconnaissance. Okay. We get one unit of Hussars from Stockholm. Then engineers from Farloon, I suppose. And then we just need to get some more artillery. That's all the units that we can recruit right now, but that should be fine. Oh, hey, we got the naval base in Arlborg. Can we now recruit the... Oh, actually, what all can we recruit in Arlborg? Not the ironclads or monitors. Commercial radius, yes. And it's actually a little bit faster now there than what it used to be. I think we're going to get another... Ironclad in Truman. Well, that'll get us to six heavy ships. Factory cost. 
Ooh, Alfred Nobel. Ooh, 62 prestige. We're now n number 10. Let's actually have a look. How far are we from Bavaria? About 50 points away. No, 60. Now, Bavaria is in his fears so that they might be... Well, they've still got bloody good industry, for sure. Uh, speaking of industry, is there actually a need for new factories or upgrading factories and that sort of stuff? Jotaland has uh, still got a little bit extra room there, but I think it might be time for... Oh, actually, well, that one does have a fair bit. Cement factory is still doing a fair bit of profit. Uh, the winery is doing a lot of money. We could get... How much of the steamer shipyard? We produce over 13% of the steamer convoy demand, which is quite nice. Oh, the machine parts, are we not selling everything? Uh, there's not a lot of demand for it right now. So yes, we're not actually... Oh, yeah. <laughs> About 30% of our production doesn't get sold, so there's no point upgrading the machine parts factory right now there. We could build some other factory. Electric gear factory, what, for example, what does that take? Oh, rubber, I don't think we have that. What about the dye factory, actually, that? That is tempting. Yeah, we'll build that there. Just so that we can start, so that takes machine parts, cement, and iron. Is that for, oh, that's probably for the construction, isn't it? I would assume, anyway. Because this one, well, it's going to be used for clothes making. Let's actually have a look. So, in terms of cotton, I'm assuming that it's uh, the matter of uh, dyes not being enough in circulation. There's actually a bit more supply of dyes than demand. Interesting. So, what about cotton then? Uh, da -da 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 -da. I know that it's somewhere. There you are. The first one on the list. Cotton is in high demand, and there's a l a lot less supply than there is demand. Okay, so that is kind of what's holding back all the fabric production. Good to know. Well, we spent a lot of money there, but we're getting more. Crew relations with the Netherlands. Uh, Russia, well, I might not want to increase relations with them too much. I could start budding up with Belgium as well. Make the Benelux uh, countries into my friends over there in the west, so that together we might be able to take out Prussia or something. But we can start another research. We can now get the upgraded rail, so he'll do that immediately, because I know that there's going to be so many rails that are going to be built immediately. Ah, automobiles. Excellent. Oh, actually, what does the automobiles uh, production require? Let's have a look. Is there any other area that has a l not a lot of extra workers? Uh, not really. Or not almost uh, full factories, but not really. But I suppose we can take a look at it anyway. So, automobile factory that takes uh, rubber, steel, machine parts, and electric. Okay. Electric gear factory. Uh, let's see. Let's have a look at the rubber then. I know that there is going to be some. Not in high demand. Supply and demand are roughly the equal. Price isn't very high. Hmm. Something that we might want to start utilizing soon. Or soon enough, anyway. Okay, the Prussians got up to six uh, heavy ships. Have we got on more? Like, the capital ships actually provide us a decent bit in there. For some reason, our military just doesn't provide enough. Is Honestly, is that... How many officers do we have? 3,000? About 4,000 almost. And we've got 91,000 soldiers. You know what? For a moment, let's encourage some more officers in um, Surveyorland. See if that has an effect on the military points. Probably not. Or is it because they haven't been fighting or anything? I don't know. Right, we're starting to get some more troops built up. So start sending them in to Yertibor. Election season. Once again. Oh, naval base in Charming has to be upgraded. Ooh, that means that we can start building some cruisers and battleships. Now, battleship is actually something that I'm kind of tempted to make. Uh, let's see. Attack 60. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> battleship in Charming. Definitely. 
So we can combine those. Can I actually upgrade the drumming base already? No, not yet. We don't have the technology for that. But yes, getting to level 4 seems to be really useful. So let's start upgrading more of the general bases that we have to level 4. We've got plenty of money anyway, so might as well use them. If we can get some more cruisers and battleships and all that sort of stuff, our fleet is going to be really good. More liberal or... Uh, maybe a little bit. Okay, but we are... Okay, so we've got those three units there. Where's the... Oh, there's another one. Oh, right, that's actually in Denmark. Where's the last one going to be? Stockholm. Have they not started... Oh, they're waiting for luxury clothing. Oh, bollocks. Okay, well, in the meanwhile, we're going to at least transport these over. But we are actually out of time for this episode, so at least we've got one battleship underway. Well, we got the Iron Class first, and then we'll get the battleship. But anyway, if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, subscribe. If I have it already, also the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye bye.